What's this, ladies and gents? Marvel's Blade? Another writer? Ah, oh, for goodness sake. I've done so many videos on this movie now, it's become like an actual legitimate joke. Or it feels like it. Like every single week or every single month, there's another update. It's always negative. And what I mean by that is like, this is not good that there's another writer on board. Why is it not good? Well, because it's not a hard script to nail down. It's not difficult. Right? But every single time we do an update on this, the videos are always the same. It's a complete shit show. This is a joke. And it is. It is a complete shit show. And it is, it is a joke. There is nothing that you're going to say that will convince me otherwise. Because there's simply nothing positive coming from this. You swap out Wesley Snipes. Okay. For a younger man. Mahashala Ali. Well by the time this film is made. It'll be the age of Snipes originally anyway. So this is a complete joke. You know there's rumours that you're going to pass the torch immediately in the first movie. You know, long live the MCU. It's just, this is absolutely ridiculous. <sighs> absolutely ridiculous. We also heard that there was like an 80-page 80, 80 script. An 80-page script. <sighs> and in that script, there was like three fights. Ugh. It's beyond me how they just can't get this right. What are you trying to achieve with this film? Th tell you what. If this film releases and it is it is just the best film ever, I'll go, oh, it was worth it. But if it is anything other than a very good film, and I mean it has to be a very good, not a very good Marvel film, it has to be a very good film, then this entire thing has been an exercise in futility and is a joke. I think that's perfectly fair. So hit subscribe if you're new here. This dropped yesterday. A little bit late for me where I was. Uh, but yeah. Here you have it. Marvel's Blade. NAB's true detective creator Nick Pizzolatto for writing duties. This is an exclusive to The Hollywood Reporter. So the development reunites uh, Pizzolatto with the star of season 3 of his acclaimed show Mahashala Ali. You know what? I bet you anything that is Ali getting involved and going look. You guys are a fucking joke now. I've got probably a producer credit on this. I can walk from this whenever I want because we're sort of, you know, getting out of the timeline here. Well, I'm going to get this guy on board. All right? Suck it. So maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. But that tells me that he's probably the influential one in getting this writer on board. Because Mahashala Ali's a good actor. He's an Oscar winner. I first remember him being in Predators, of all things. Um, big, he, he was like some sort of African mercenary in Predators. Uh, and he was really good in that. And then more recently, I know he's been in loads of stuff, but then more recently I remember him uh, playing a Wesley Snipes-esque, Blade-esque, uh, aesthetically speaking, anyway, character in Alita Battle Angel. And he was really good in that as well. So, I, I like Mahashala Ali. I just don't like the fact that this has become such a big joke. So, Nick Pizzolatto has gone Marvel. The creator of acclaimed crime anthology True Detective is working on Blade, Marvel Studios' vampire thriller. Starring Mahashala Ali. I tell you what, if they come out and they say this is R-rated, oh, they'll get my, I'll be happier then as well. But they're not going to, of course they're not. The development marks a true detective reunion as Ali starred in season three of Pizzolatto's HBO show. I, sorry, I keep saying it like that. I just, there's literally no other way I can say it. Sorry, it's um, it's a compulsion. Anyway, Blade is batting its wings towards a late May start of production. Really, really, really. Fuck off. They they still haven't finished the script. Oh my god, you've got a month. <laughs> you've got a month. You've got, you, haven't finished, you haven't finished your script, you've got a month. You're a joke. So a late May start of production in Atlanta with Jan uh, Demange, who helmed the pilot of HBO's boundary-pushing horror series Lovecraft Country in the director's chair. So the feature is casting up uh, and most recently added rising scream queen Mia Goth to the call sheet. 
Uh, Delroy Lindo is also on the roster. I really like Mia Goth. She's, she is a good thing to this, but I also think she's too good to be in this. I also think Mahashala Ali is too good to be in this. And we know that they don't pay, get paid particularly well anymore. Because it was only um, Robert Downey Jr. that got the incredibly lucrative contract deal. The rest of the actors don't get paid that much. He's too good for this crap. Definitely too good for this back and forth nonsense. So Blade currently has a script by Michael Starbury. Who earned an Emmy nomination for penning an episode of Ava DuVernay's drama When They See Us. Sources say Pizzolatto is working off Starbury's draft and has been keyboarding for a few weeks now. This is like the 10th script, guys. The 10th fucking script. It's not difficult. I don't understand. Marvel was <laughs> Marvel set a release date of uh, September next year. What, what do we reckon? Do we reckon they're going to do it? Because I don't. Like, I could be being negative or pessimistic, but I really just don't think they're going to. Pizzolatto was a novelist and short story writer before transitioning to screenwriting, and became known name thanks to became a known name thanks to True Detective, the acclaimed crime series that airs on HBO. First season starred Matthew McConaughey uh, and Woody Harrelson and became a water cooler show that had audiences. I mean, it's a good show, right? Like, he is a good writer. He's a good writer. Mia Goth is a good actor. Marshall Lee's a good actor. You've just got a shit show of a studio behind it. And they are. Marvel has become an absolute joke. They are a joke. This is a joke. Like, this is not difficult to get right. It doesn't make any sense why they keep swapping writers. Uh, I'm hoping, I, again, I, the, the only way that I'll be pleased uh, and, and say that this is all worth it is, one, if this film is, is literally a very good film, not a very good Marvel film, because that's a different metric of uh, quality, but just a very good film. And then also, you know, is that this is Mahashala Ali getting involved and going, oh, you guys, you're pissing me off. I'm just getting my own writer now. Because if that's the case, then that bodes really well, I think, personally. But let me know what you think of this down below. would love to hear any and all of your thoughts. Please do hit subscribe if you're new here. Uh, guys, I do have a second channel linked in the description box. Missed H Reviews Live Archives. I do a podcast. I didn't know if you were aware of this. But I do a podcast basically twice a week with fellow creators, uh, industry professionals, things like that. And we cover similar topics to this. Some topics which I don't cover on the main channel, uh, I'll sort of cover over there as well. And what you can do, you can hit subscribe and you can see the best bits and also the full stream episodes uh, in a playlist so check the link out in the description box love to have you there more often and here as well but cheers guys have a great day take care